Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Morning Must Knows. My name is Merlin Rothfeld. And here are three important things to pay attention to for the upcoming trading week. Now I'm gonna set a little overtone for this week. We talked over the past three weeks on Monday Morning Must Knows about currencies. We talked about some weakness in the euro, some weakness in the pound, the dollar strength. Well, we're going to continue on with that this week because a lot of it revolves around central banks and monetary policy. Now, before I dive into that, let's start things off with the earnings calendar. It gets very, very slow in the upcoming weeks. As you can see here, we've got 178 companies reporting earnings. That's a far cry short of the thousand plus we've been seeing per week. But we do have a couple big names specifically early on in the week. We start things off on Monday with Urban Urban Outfitters, Agilent, Keysight Technologies, and the social media or web conferencing company Zoom. Yes, a lot of pessimism out there with regards to Zoom. We'll see how their earnings come out. Tuesday is the real big day for retail sales. Remember last week we had the retail sales numbers. Those were looking pretty darn good. We have a ton of retailers coming out. Here are some of them. You've got Best Buy, Medtronic, VMware, Abercrombie & Fitch, Nordstrom's, Dollar Tree, Burlington, and many, many more. Make sure you check your earnings calendar. Now it starts to lighten up a little bit. On Wednesday you've got John Deere, which is one of the darlings of the infrastructure movement. And of course now that that infrastructure bill is passed, maybe more money will be pouring into the big equipment makers like John Deere and Caterpillar. Wednesday may tell us that. On Thursday, we've got Cronus, the cannabis company, which let's be honest, has been saying they're going to report every week for the past couple of months and just seems to be getting uh, pushed further and further down the road. And that's pretty much it. You don't really have much going on for Friday's session. So let's dive into the heavy hitting stuff, the big stuff. We have the RBNZ. That's the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. Now, I know you're thinking New Zealand. Are they a real major market mover? Well, maybe they're setting the tone for the rest of the world. Why? Well, if you notice here, it says rate statement plus 0.75%. Now, we're going to take a peek at a chart here, but on Tuesday at 8 p.m., all right, that's a nighttime thing for you Forex guys, maybe even you cryptocurrency traders, that's when that announcement happens. Now, here's a chart of the uh, New Zealand interest rates. And as you can see back in 2008 and 9, yeah, they were slashing their rates as every country was in the world to help with the financial crisis. Now, you move forward to the pandemic in 2020, and you can see they pretty much dropped to zero, just like the U.S. and many other countries have done. But what's noteworthy here is, all of a sudden, on that hard right edge, they have started to raise their rates. At the previous meeting, they increased by 25 basis points to now one half of 1%. Now, the expectation for the meeting on Tuesday is that they're going to raise another 25 basis points, which would put their rate at 0.75. However, there's talk tracks that it might be even higher, a 50 basis point increase. Well, why would they be so aggressive in raising their rates? Because they're trying to reduce demand in their economy. Why? Because inflation in New Zealand is out of hand. Wait a minute. This sounds like a recurring theme. Hmm, I'm hearing about inflation in America, I'm hearing about inflation in Canada and in Europe. Wait a minute, is this a global pandemic of inflation? It could very well be. So keep your eye on New Zealand because they have a target of 3% is the upper threshold for their inflation numbers. Right now, it's at 4.9. So they're raising their rates to help slow down their economy and hopefully bring those inflation numbers down. Now, why is this important to you and me? Why am I talking about New Zealand? Well, because America is in the exact same situation right now. We have inflation is surging, our rates are pegged near zero, so keep your eye on New Zealand because we may be following their lead shortly. All right, our final piece of the week is gonna be United States. That's the United States of America GDP numbers. And again, as you can see on this chart, we've had some phenomenal GDP over the past three quarters. You see those nice big blue bars there. We'll take out the big outliers up and down, but notice the last three on that hard red edge. You can see it's sitting at 6.6% right now. That's higher than it's been for the past 12 years. And of course, when you pump in the trillions of dollars we have, you would expect there to be a pop in GDP numbers. Again, if this GDP continues to accelerate, what that could lead to is higher inflation and therefore put pressure on our central bank in the United States and Jerome Powell to say, you know what? We're going to have to raise rates a little bit sooner than expected. As you know, we've just started tapering and that means they're cutting back on their purchases of short-term treasuries and mortgage-backed securities. Two things that have been propping up the bond market as well as the housing market. If those purchases start to slow down, we remove a little bit of the backstop which has been pushing markets higher, therefore we could see increased volatility going forward. That, my friends, is your Monday morning must-knows. We'll see you next week.